Hello everybody, this is Guybush Games, and welcome back to the War Thunder Naval Forces. And today, we're going to take a look at the SF-40 Lighty and Shred, or the SF-40 Heavy Light and Heavy, and the Air Varies. So, both are barges, so they're really flat, um, they're really vulnerable to rough sea so deep water uh, like areas or whatever is going to make them wobble a lot and especially on the heavy one you're going to notice it and it's going to ruin your day so they are kind of map like especially the heavy one you're kind of based on the map you're playing whether you want to use it or not but going into it they both feature a double hull as you guys can see they're very similar um, as in they have four main guns and a central house. So the f on the light one, you got four quad 20 millimeter anti-aircraft turrets, as well as an auxiliary armament that's controlled by the AI, consisting out of one 37 millimeter anti-aircraft turret. The heavy one gets four Flak 88 heavy anti-aircraft guns which are more of anti-ship guns in this game than anti-aircraft guns, but it also gets two single-mounted 20mm anti-aircraft turrets. And again, this one is really map-dependent, uh, whether it's actually usable or not, simply because at some point you're gonna wobble so much that the guns are like, the, the side just goes up and down, up and down, and there's no stabilization, so you cannot fire those guns at that moment because you're just not gonna hit. That said, the Lighty is actually uh, faster than the Schwery, at least as of now with my modifications. Although I do have no speed um, increasing modifications on the light one, it is actually faster because yeah, I don't know exactly why, but it's just like it's just faster. Other notion is, um, if you use the main guns against ships, you're only gonna get up to three guns to bear. You're gonna use up to three guns at max. And I have to say, like, at this angle already, you're gonna use the third gun. Well, with the heavy one, you can actually only use one up at this angle due to this little post right here, which is actually gonna, uh, which makes it. Uh, way harder to get three guns to fire on the heavy one than on the light one. But that said, I'm going to turn on the queue right now. I don't know how much, how long it will take, but I'll just start, keep on filling you in on the, some more facts and whatever not. So the 37mm gun, or the light one actually fires quite slowly, while the 20mm two mounts are actually fire quite fast. Um, both are pretty good anti-air weaponry, but um, I have to say these heavy one, these two are less efficient than the 37. So taking that, and you do not have the most efficient anti-air weapons as the main guns, even though they are are designated anti-air guns, you're gonna have a hard time against planes with the heavy one. And I guess to torpedoes as well, like you have no mobility, so torpedoes, even fired a long distance, are going to have a good chance on actually getting you. Which is a big bummer. And I think I'm just going to show off the heavy one first. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab that new ammo type. I'm going to go tap spawn and go towards A, because that's the most open area right here. Because these things, because of how slow they are, you're gonna have to fire at range quite a lot. So I'm just going right here. I can see the gun turrets. Uh, I wanted guys to rotate that way. These guns are pretty slow to get to bear, so pre bearing them is a good idea. And these 20mm guns are kind of glitched, they have a tendency to randomly start firing out of nowhere, like for no reason. Oh, they found a first target, 
Let's see if I can get a hit off. As you guys can see, it's already wobbling up and down a little bit. But this map is a little bit less wobbly than some of the other maps, so... I will probably, probably still be fine. Gotta lead the guns. Almost a hit there. Oh, he's turning around. Come on. There we go. Lawsuit to smoke. I have not hit a single shell with this main battery right now, guys. At this range, at least. Like, it is really hard to hit stuff at this range. Oh, okay, this is a small boat. It's not a big target because the bigger the target, the harder it is for me to hit people. Fire. I cannot even see what I'm firing at. Oh, we got a hit there. Gotta switch targets here, because this one is... Ah, come on. Okay, that actually did get some damage off. Oh, this guy got... Close in. Even though I actually, like, am partially not hitting them. Still doing quite a lot of damage, which is nice. Oh, guns, come on. Give me a hit. Okay, he's dead. And, oh god, they're coming at me. These are, these guys do plan on, like, going in, trying to get my torpedo off. That's pretty obvious. Oh, crap. Got me. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Turn left. Come on, baby. Turn. Okay, now I have to go forward again. Down to two guns to fire forwards. Yeah, AI guns are helping now, though. That's a good thing. There we go, guys. That's actually my, f I think my first or second kill with these guns. I was about to say these guns right here. Like this one is actually like pretty hard to play. Like it has in theory nuking one shot power, but it's really hard to get these guns to properly hit stuff, which really does limit their effectiveness. Good air threat is being dealt with. Oh, hello. Boop. I'm getting slightly more efficient over time now. Just troll fire enemy firing a shell in the plane. That's gonna really do anything, anyways. I mean, if it's hit, it's just like by plane instantly. Kill assists. That's a good thing. It's quite a lot of fire from being shot in this direction. Is there even anyone right here, anyways? Oh, target acquired. Oh crap. Yep, I'm dead. I'm dead. Confirmed. Bye bye. Gonna do I could never break in time. Nothing I could do against that. Okay, let's get into the light one and let's go to B. Help these little guys right there. Because in, in the you know, like immediately gonna notice the full speed. Like right now it's the same, but that's actually because I'm turning. Air target out of range right now because as I show another thing, these 20 millimeter guns have a time fuse, so they have a maximum range because of that. And 
that does limit their engagement distance. Because of that, the heavy can engage us further distances than this thing can. But at the same time, this thing is going to be way more deadly against small targets like this. Oh, I was already dead before I could actually get a gun out of there. Uh, oh, that's a bummer. And that one is actually going to wipe out pretty much everything right there. These vehicles are really efficient at dealing with targets. I actually like had a 4v1 in this thing once and like took out two of the four players. Before the third one like hugged me in the face and slapped me with a torpedo. Because taking out an SF-40 the easiest way, just launch a torpedo at it. It's not really gonna dodge it if you launch, like either launch it from the side when it's an, or when it's not moving, or like when you're getting decently close at like thousand meters or below. Like that last thing is gonna be really dangerous if he notice you. You're dead pretty much in a thousand meters, but you're gonna be killing him if you can get that torpedo off. Everyone can actually be bombed, and the light one at high distance can kind of be bombed, but. After that, there go like, the limitations, pretty much, of these vehicles. You guys can see, this one goes 16, while the other one just really just topped out at 10. Which is, like, at this speed comparison, it is actually quite a lot. There you guys can see one volley. Currently reloading, but I did get a kill right there. Boat. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Firing away. Okay, that's actually a heavy ship. Might be a little bit. Why did we get that thing to fight against with the heavy? Dang it. Just kind of fire with a folly because these things actually have to reload quite often. Hello, uh, plane. Oh, mission defeat. Guess we didn't get enough points because that's another thing. These things, these things cannot like do objectives. They just can't. So even though they're really powerful support craft in trying to get the team to go on, there we go. Got some more upgrades. Want to get at the primary Norman like turret rotation speeds. So that's gonna help a lot. Actually, I'm just gonna check out these modifications. Maximum forward speed does not change. Reach to maximum forward speed goes faster. Here, plus one, 1.2 kilometers an eight per hour. But that's it. Like you do not dry dog and like does not give any maximum speed upgrades. Well, this one doesn't upgrade it. This one does. So this one's actually gonna go even just with 1.2 kilometers hours faster off at 16 kilometers an hour. Well, this one only really reaches 11, even though it's uh, 16 top speed. You're really not gonna reach it. Currently, I am working on getting the Arbot R130, and after that, I want to probably either want to go further in the barge thing, or want to like go down this line. Right here, the motor torpedo boats. But I want to get that destroyer resource as fast as possible because I want to try the, the main battleships. And I guess like the ferries are probably the better choice for me right now. So, yeah. Uh, gonna take the top spawn. Gonna take the... Avi to show you guys the effects of rough water of this thing. Here we go. Look at the up and down movement. Also seems that the movement of the vehicle comparison to the waves is actually out of order. Like it feels like it, now it should be up and now down. Up, down, up. Like it feels slower than it should be. 
like, you can see here, you got, I could just go through the wave. Well, like, at some other points, I get, like, lifted in the air like this and not touch the water. It's a little bit vague and weird overall. That needs to be fixed. You do know, you do notice this thing is CBT. Yeah, I'm gonna go and try to get close to the shore because the closer you are to the shore, the less problematic this <laughs> this stuff right here which should be. Sometimes like I can, sometimes I can get guns and targets or like try to at least. Actually hitting the water the shore. Oops. Oh god. This thing has no ability whatsoever. And again map dependent, this thing might be fully useless. Yeah, if you want. What was it in millimeters? Nasty. Nasty weapons. Like, this rocking also happens on the light one, but the light one has such a high rate of fire that you just don't notice it. Also this. <laughs> There's many visual effects, but yeah, I got fully submerged. Pretty interesting, I would say. Right guys? <laughs> That guy's dead. Oh, uh, there's another one. Sure, I'll take it. Guy has fire shot, anyways. I'm gonna kill this by targeting people out. That looks like a big ship. Can I even get offshore here? Thank you. No sauce. Bombs. Sure. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> Show you guys again how it works with the 37mm light one. I'm sure, you notice the wobbling. And on this one even, like, you notice it last. <laughs> Which is stupid. 
Like, which made the vehicle that was already, like, the more of a threat, the more easier one to use, and, it, like, to begin with against the light targets, the more of a threat. Okay, I can do a little, kind of, like, heavy hull vehicles, like, such as destroyers, and other, like, heavier vehicles, if you get, if I get, like, a line, like, matchup against one of those. Not sure if you will, but, uh... If that happens, the heavy one is gonna be your better bet, but if you cannot hit your target to begin with, it doesn't really matter what your how powerful the shell is if you actually like against the enemy. Like let's say I would have a shell that I that would literally kill every enemy on the map with a single hit. And make them unable to respawn. So basically as soon as you fire and hit somebody, you win. Well, if you cannot hit anybody. It doesn't matter how powerful the shell is, because it's gonna be useless. Rather have the slightly less powerful guns, but actually able to f hit stuff. Target acquired, and see if I can get some hits off. AI killed an airplane randomly for me. Ship's damage very, very little. Because you can see like how much points it can take f to take out that ship. Overall, these vehicles do kind of require the, again the easier C, more open maps. I mean, like, this one, sure, it is open, but currently I do not have any targets because I took, took so long with that heavy variant. And I took way too long to actually do something. Can I get some hits off? Looks like not. Ooh. Sorry, major failed, but there you can see, like, I <laughs> took out the entire compartment. I think, actually, like, those compartments, if you would, like, destroy a compartment like that, the ship should sink. Like, have every ship have three very big compartments. And have them have like a high amount of health, or like have two compartments like that, like are interlocking. Like a, I just say, uh, oh, district chef, some armor, <laughs> lost. But um, you can see those little lines right here vertically, like one here, here, here. Also with the little railings here. Let's say the first three. It's one compartment, second tree compartment, and the third tree is a compartment. But at the same time, these three are compartments, these three are compartments, and each have a health pool. And if you hit, like, a plate, it's gonna take health of all three compartments it interlocks with. And if any compartment reaches zero health, it, the ship is, because they're destroyed. Because then you would say, like, okay, there's such a big hole, water's flooding in, and it's gonna sink. But then you would have, like, at the same time, it would ha need a high enough health value to, like, stay alive. But I'm going to take out one more match, but I'm only going to take out the light one. And uh, I'm just going to throw in some crew upgrades, or not. I guess not. <laughs> I think I'm just going to take left spawn, go to B, probably. Now let's go to A. Why not? This ship is better if it's in closed water, but I'm already facing this one side and I that will be taking too long. Late spawns with these ships suck anyways. But like here we go, like S38 already got three naval targets destroyed. I just spawned! You already got three kills! What the hell? I also died now, but still. 
Wait, LS class? There's got three kills. Damn. LS class are basically considered cannon fodder in this ma game. That's just how bad they are, really. There goes an LS class and almost died of my folly. Like, it would be really close or we would have died from our folly. There we go. On to the reload. Uh, no sauce. Gonna hit that guy. Like, I cannot even hit this guy. Like, I can't even see what I'm shooting at, but I got, like, target acquired, so... I'll be firing away at this guy. There goes second compartment. And I think I'm just gonna hit the rear bow area. There we go. Ship destroyed. Next ship. There goes, there goes one. Two planes up. Let's get the pump going. Get some water out of my hull. Which is really inconveniently placed at the button number eight. Pretty annoying. Two planes up. I'm, I'm gonna go start going burn, like towards A this direction in. Okay, folly. Yep, there we go. Volley complete. Target destroyed. Volley complete. Target destroyed. That, that's how ridiculous this, this weapon system is. Here we got a plane kill. Doesn't look like I will be able to. But we're just gonna reload. Prepare to fire. And there we go. They managed to get the kill there, but uh, still major damage in that guy. Little ass ship guy is still there. Like, just got into firing position to hit. Oh, that's another light. That's, that's the same ship as I am using right now. Which is gonna be Battle of Titans, basically, right here. He isn't fire, though. Make it really hard for him to do stuff for me. And like he's already badly damaged and oop. Uh, let's get that thing going backwards. We're gonna slow down a little bit, get a little volley off here. Okay, I'm gonna go forward a little bit, glad close to the S class S38. Aircraft destroyed. How did I manage to survive that? I do not know, but I did. Really happy I did. That was a bomb at such close distance. <laughs> Having to deal with a like 12 to 16 anti-aircraft guns firing at you depending on your altitude. If you're like high up enough, you like this area, you get 16 20 millimeters firing at you. There's no way you're gonna survive that, really. I might be a little bit trouble now. I'm actually getting pretty hanged up. Ah, oh, got forward, 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 forward. Please do not explode on me, torpedo. That's why I was getting banged up. Look at that light right there, right in front of me. Ouch. I'm I'm going to die here. I'm pretty sure. Might as well try to take as many people with me as possible until I do. Next up is this guy. Okay, I have this guy is now up. Try to take out the turrets. On guns, take them out. The enemy 
Darka destroyed. Damn. I did not expect to survive that engagement right there. Like, for real, I did not expect that to actually happen. I'm just targeting guys left and right. Where are you firing at right now? Alright. Opening fire. I'm just gonna... S oh. Crew knocked out. That took ages. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's take out. Let's take out my HE 100. It's 1.7 plane. I took it out because I only had a 1.7 at the time. So I assigned it. I don't have that many planes because I don't really play with planes. So yeah. You had first like fighters. Like the fucker wolf. Those things are actually pretty nasty at low tiers. Against these ships. Let's observe first. Oh god. G training. Lane right there, but I don't think he'll be still be alive by the time I get there. And I think I pretty much got it. There's no really like spawn protection in this mode, which is a really big bummer. Oh god, I'm going to get G-forced otherwise, so I have to pull out of that dive. Oh uh, god. I don't think I'll be able to kill this guy. Nope, there he goes. Taking out, there are no more ships. Oh, there's one more ship, but we won't reach that. The match will be over. I might be able to, like, get those really long distance shots off. There we go. My place in the team number one. I've <laughs> did it really say that number one? Let's check how much time. Yep, there we go. My place in the team number one. Ended up with nine ship kills, four assists. <laughs> the most amount of ships destroyed. I've, yeah, across the board. Six, six right here. Five on their team, but that's it. There we go. Awesome. We got a new ship. So now we're just going to quickly decide uh, where to get some small torpedo motorboats. Or do we got the big ferry barge? Hmm. You got 105s, but. The barges are really dependent. I've, and actually, because we want to go fast anyways, I think I'm going to go for this one because it's like half the research. And let's just throw the dry dock because I immediately got some bonus research points. And then research rudder replacement. So I just now got access of this thing. So, got two 20mm guns and a 37 instead of one 20mm and a 37. So, that should be a big upgrade. Also, upgrade the crew. It will be slightly slower though, but I don't think I really mind. I mean, I can play with this thing in terms of speed, so uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll be bothered that, by that. But, yeah, that's really just about it, guys. The lighty. The light one might be overpowered, but I have one. 
I really don't think it's overpowered. Uh, it's pretty balanced overall, actually. And might actually get, might actually need like a balance buff and speed buff, like mobility buff to be equal to the uh, light barge. Just that, and um, like that is a little bit more stable or gets gun stabilization. Because otherwise it really cannot fire at the rough waters. Like at this water where you can see right here, it's like not going to be bothered by water that much. And then it will be lethal. But at the rough seas, it needs like a little bit of stability improvement. Again, hope you guys all enjoyed watching. And I'll catch you guys all later. Bye guys.